Well, it's give day and we had a full day planned, but I just got a call from a lady who sent me some photos and videos of a mangy looking bobcat that's having some severe trouble in his back end, who's behind a shed in her backyard right here in Citrus Park. So Jamie and Victor and Brittany have loaded up into the rescue van and I'm following them in a separate car. See, the rescue team is here. driving when you sent it to me, so I didn't get a chance to look at it closely. It, what was happening in the back? It's a big cat. <laughs> like, it, then, you know, I have house, I have a house cat, and I'm like, there's no way. So he's not home, so you can go in the back. Good thing you speak squirrel. Mm -hmm. Come over here because they hear this squirrel really upset in the tree. And he's not going to be upset because of us. It's going to be probably because of a bobcat. Well, we weren't able to find the bobcat. Found a lot of likely places for the bobcat to go. There is a really nice canal back there. The cat was shaking his feet off like they were wet, so he probably came in along the bank there. And then just about everybody along that canal has a deck, <laughs> which he could be under. So we left one of the humane have a heart traps and they're going to bait it and use some bobcat attractant that they have. And Christy has said she would be happy to reset the cage and we gave the neighbors and her our contact information. So we'll keep you posted. I'm filming you. You're filming us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not just staring at you and being weird. <laughs> 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 